Good morning, Your Excellencies. Um, I'm making this presentation on behalf of the advocacy group that uh, undertook a lot of discussions for the Global, New, uh, Global Newborn Action Plan consultations. And uh, it's important to appreciate that if we are going to act and advocate for the newborn and ensure that all the recommendations that are included in the newborn action plan, we as advocates, as movers, as people who want to ensure that action is taken at country level, at community level, first and foremost, we must ensure that all the actors, all the stakeholders who are dealing with the mother are actually mobilized and taking action. Because we have appreciated in this meeting that what is good for the mother is good for the baby, and what is good for the baby is good for the mother. Once that is done, we must also ensure that all the other actors who are related to health system strengthening, working towards reducing stillbirth, all those stakeholders who are working in the prevention of mother to child uh, infection, uh, HIV infection, all the actors in child health related programs, all the actors working in family planning programs are actually linked, are integrating, are mainstreaming the recommendations of the Global Newborn Action Plan into the work that they are currently doing. We want to make this point that we can't work on newborns without these other programs and linkages. And we must move now with all these actors. As advocates, as movers, if we really want to do action on the newborn. And so the team further discussed on how to operationalize this kind of thing. We did appreciate as a team that on the ground, there are multiple global initiatives flowing into the countries, all the various countries represented and those that are not represented. And that means, therefore, that there are resources which are flowing in countries. However, we are limited in numbers. The actors are limited in numbers. And we also have limited time. The time we have to act does not increase with the number of initiatives. And largely, we remain the same people on the ground working. And we have to be cognizant of that. And therefore, to be able to move the recommendations of the Global Newborn Action Plan, we must ensure that all these recommendations are part of these current initiatives. And that we ensure that the colleagues, the stakeholders down there already working are not seeing this Global Newborn Action Plan as a new idea. It's not a completely new idea. It's part and parcel of the work that they are already doing. But they need to strengthen, to sharpen what is already existing. The recommendations that we are making, the plans that we envisage to develop must be part and parcel for instance, of the every woman, every child activities, work that is going on under the Commission on Accountability. We have a lot of work ongoing in regard to our sector-wide approaches. We need to bring all this work together. The stakeholders need to ensure that whatever is being planned in our countries is highlighting maternal and newborn health interventions. And the team believes that that is the way to go. As advocates, as movers of activities for newborn, we must ensure that we are there. We are present where all these activities are going on. And we are part and parcel of the movers. Oh, sorry. Sorry. 
We wanted to highlight the fact that at the moment, we need to appreciate how to do our advocacy work and our actions. We appreciated that there are already very many planned global activities, global consultations that are planned. Come May, for instance, we know that there will be the World Health Assembly. We must ensure that work on the NAP is actually being discussed. Women deliver. How will it take on the recommendations of the Global New Action Plan? What about the International Conference on Pediatrics in August? How are we making our presence there? How about the UN General Assembly in September? And definitely we know that in November, come November, the World Maturity Day, this is when we hope to launch the Global Newborn Action Plan. But that's not the end. After that, we must ensure that all ongoing consultations on work related to newborn continue to be mainstream, to be discussed. Work is not only going to go at the global level. They are country actions. And at the country, we must ensure that we are mobilizing for newborn activities. There will be several country level consultations and we must engage on the newborn. We must ensure that our countries, as they review the various health sector plans, as they develop new plans within the health sector, but also outside, because they work outside the health sector that actually addresses the newborn, addresses maternal health, that all these consultations engage and address the newborn. We must ensure that in our countries, this community, social mobilization. The women groups must be involved. Various NGOs working on activities related to maternal and newborn health must come on board. Private organizations, name it, professional bodies, must now be mobilized. But we also recognize that we must also identify champions. Champions at different levels. And we are not only thinking about national level champions. We are talking about nurses and midwives who are every day, every hour, working on newborns and mothers, we must identify, we must recognize, we must award these champions. And we know that because this is their daily work, they are likely to ensure that more recommendations are integrated in even more strategic directions. So as we go back, it's important that we mobilize everybody and mobilize resources we must link what is going on at the global level, regional level, to what is going on at country. And in countries, we must engage at the real community level and household where actually these newborns are. We must relate ourselves to work that is going on with every woman, every child, a promise renewed, KAMA, UN Commission on Life-Saving Commodities, and of course, the accountability framework. I would like to thank you very much. If we are going to implement programs, we must engage, we must link, we must include. And this is how we hope to advocate and ensure that action is taken on newborns in our countries. I thank you.